Welcome to this workshop where we're going to talk about the easiest way to improve your dashboard. My name is Julie Brody. I am the director of measurement for measurementmarketing.io. I've been building actionable dashboards for a really long time. I actually started out in the manufacturing world of building out dashboards for all kinds of different people from the floor managers to the directors to the CEOs to the owners. All these different types of people had to be able to use the dashboards and be able to take action. I've been doing that for a really long time. Eventually became a measurement marketer just like you and started teaching measurement marketing and even today we still have clients of our own and we take care of those clients and so that means we've seen a lot of different things not just myself but our amazing team of instructors so if you have questions reach out to us we'd love to help you we always love a good puzzle to solve so as we go through this particular training all we always remind you to remember the one thing meaning don't try to grab everything i'm throwing at you today even though there's technically one thing to throw at you today but maybe there's some bonus tips in there that you want to take and start applying but just you know don't get overwhelmed you can always come back and watch this again later so let's go ahead and get started the easiest way to improve your dashboard so we're going to go ahead and head straight into the world of google and that is literally looking at google so I typed in a search uh, for Looker Studio dashboard and I used Looker Studio just because this is the tool that we're going to be kind of referencing in this particular training. Um, and so you can just put any sort of dashboard and you can kind of get an idea. But what we're doing is like, what is the thing that kind of stands out and what is the thing that makes it blend in? What are What is the kind of dashboard that you would probably like? And what is the dashboard that you think your client would probably like or your stakeholder? whoever it is that you are building for. And I'm just scrolling through here just to kind of give you an idea because the answer is like right in front of us in so many different ways. But the easiest way for you to make your dashboards better and easier to use is by adding in color. Now, obviously there's lots of different colors in here, but if we see something very simple, like just this, you know, white and grays and blues, um, if that's not your branded colors, that might be um, very generic looking and not feel very special. So let's go ahead and dive into kind of how do we make them look special. We're going to come into our Looker Studio and then we are under our template gallery. If you're not quite sure how to get there, we just go to our templates and then we are just choosing one of these templates and um, we are we just clicked on it and we chose to edit and share. And so this is all we've done so far. This is the only thing that we've done. Um, and we want to be able to go through and um, make a copy now. So we're going to choose make a copy. And we're going to choose to use the sample data because it does not matter. We're just playing around with color and showing you how to be able to do this. The cool thing is what we're going to uh, show you today is you can create your own dashboard template. Like if you have these similar kind of clients, maybe you have all Shopify clients or all WooCommerce clients, and you can basically create a template. And then what we're about to show you right now, you can customize and make it their own. So start the clock. We're going to show you how to do this. So what you're going to do is when you're in edit mode, and we know that because we see view, if we were in view mode, we would then see edit. So we know we're in edit mode. We're going to choose theme and layout. And we're just going to choose this customize option right here. And just a side note, this changes the all these little options can change um, on the fly because um, Looker Studio is always giving us amazing updates. So just be aware that wherever you know you might see this uh, a certain word here in a certain format in a certain place, it might be different from whenever you actually are watching the video because we're recording this in um, the middle of 2024. Maybe you're watching this in the fall um, and it looks a little bit different. That's OK the concepts should still be the same what we're about to teach you. So what we see here is these different chart palettes. And so let's say you can see like maybe your client uses a lot of purple. Uh, we can choose that and then we're going to give it a moment and we start seeing some of these colors change. Maybe they use um, two different shades of purple and we can go through again. We're going to give it a moment and we'll eventually see those things start to shift and change. Um, you can go through and change all of these to match whatever it is that you are looking for. 
but I hear you. You're like, well, those aren't my colors. Um, and that, so you can go through and customize your own colors. We accidentally got kicked out of there for us pressing the wrong button, but we have our theme and layout. We go to our customize and we can just go through and choose this little button here and we can choose what color we want. And we'll get to that in just a second because this is my absolute favorite part. This is the secret sauce to making your dashboards uh just stand out above everybody else's uh, but we're going to get to that in just a second i want to show you another piece because very rarely this might help but it could possibly be helpful for you so i just want to show you that instead of clicking on customize you can scroll down and there are some built-in templates that could give you a great starting point um if that is so true if you want to do that and you can also extract the theme from an image like take a screenshot of the site and then use those colors that is possible too however um i have found over the years that choosing this option is usually the fastest so what we're going to do is we have all these different sites up here um that i went through uh social media and google and got some ads for and so we're going to see these are the different pages that we got ads for and we're going to create branded dashboards for these really quickly so we know we want to get the little color code because that's the secret sauce for this so we're going to click on this we're going to click on this we need the the hex number here or we want to type in those numbers i like just copying and pasting the, the number or the combination the hex so what i like to do uh you might have a different process but this has been the fastest easiest way for us is we have a chrome extension there are probably a hundred of them out there. I use color pick eye dropper, as you can see, as we're hovering in there. And when I just click on it, it now brings it forward. So what I can choose is this little blue, and now I'm going to hit control C. Um, and then we're coming back in here and we're just going to do that. And we know we have the color. Then we're going to go through and because we know it's a white, I'm just going to hit the white. Um, and then obviously, depending on where your white is showing up, that might cause problems. So maybe we don't want to do the white as color number two, but let's go look for some other things. Because initially you might be like, well, crap, that's it. You only got two colors. However, look at this. We have this blue this is another blue that we have. And so we're going to choose this white one and come in here. And then there we go. And here we go. We're just going to keep doing that until we can uh, kind of get through our way of doing our colors um so these look like the same ones this is a little bit of a lighter blue so we can grab that again you know maybe we won't actually use that one but it is here in the palette so in case we wanted to use it we could and so here's this gray and which is e e e e e that is a very common one and is probably already up there in um our chart um but we're going to just go ahead and grab and make it custom here's another gray Ooh. Those are the same ones. Look at that color theory making our eyes go crazy. I would not have ventured that those were the same ones. Well, we learned something together uh, today. And so then this is where you can go through and see like, are these the same two blues? So this one ends in F3. Um, and uh, those are different blues. So we could, if we wanted to grab more blues, we can do that here. Now, another pro tip for you is you see how this brand we have another blue i want to grab this one real quick you see how this brand obviously their their name is really rounded fun little letters they have rounded in here they don't use their rounding much else in these other images obviously they have the rounding here but they do have a lot of soft edges in what they're doing they have rounded edges here so in order to make their dashboard feel a little bit more branded another thing we could do not with color is also with our rounding of our edges. So we could come in here and this particular temp template already has the rounded edges, which is fantastic. And where we would find that is we're on the chart because we see that we're on the chart and we see this is the um, border radius is what it, the fancy word for this is. But because Chewy, the brand uses it a little bit more, I can go through and make it a little bit more rounded. This right here, is actually a text block. And again, we can go through and make everything a little bit more rounded to kind of fit with the brand. And then if we have wanted to change all of these text blocks, I can go through and select all the text components on this page. Um, 
and unselect that one. I don't want that one. And then we can go through and change the background color to be that chewy blue there. Um, and then we could obviously change those colors. So we have this very first one um, and we're actually going to change this background. See this where this this is a background color of blue. So we're going to come and customize and this is where we see that here. But let's see what does Chewy do. Chewy on their site uses white for their background. So we are going to do the same thing for our dashboard. Now, I guess obviously that's going to kind of mess up with our text and stuff like that. So this is where we can then choose our text color um, and you know choose whatever it is in here. So um, let's make you black for now just to let you sit there so you can actually see what it is. What we would then do is I'd probably have a blue border with the um, white text on top of that um, so it matches the actual um, site. So let's show you how to do that real quick. We're like, okay, we're going to make this a banner, kind of like what they have on the top. And I'm going to, this is a little bit more advanced, but I'm going to show you how you push this down a little bit more so it's not so hovering up at the top. And we're going to make the background that blue. We're going to make it this blue. And then we're going to change our text to be white again. And what we can also do is we can go through and try to find something that is a little bit more similar to the font. There are other things you can do inside of Looker to make the font match, but we're focused on color today. So we're not going to worry about that too much. Um, and there we go. So we have we ch changes for the font in that state. There we go. Um, and then you can inside of your theme, you can change um, your font to be the same everywhere. So if you wanted to do that, you can do that too. But let's go ahead and keep going through with our color. Um, so if we have that. Now let's go into another one, just to kind of like, how would you do this? You would do the exact same thing. We could now, um, let's go ahead and make a copy, make a copy. And since we're already in edit mode, we go to theme and layout again. Let's say this is client number two. You're like, okay, all I got to do is change my chart. Um, and then what we're going to do is then click on here and choose whatever color we want, go back and forth. And then we would have a dashboard that would be for client number two. And then same thing with client number three. Again, these are all different ads that I saw this morning. Um, and so, you know, this is uh, just one particular page. We could go to the home page. What are the colors that they're using here that we can use for our dashboard? So obviously black, white, and the gray and the pink, um, and a little bit of the blues and the creams. And so that way you can then use that in your dashboard to make it very branded. They're also using rounded edges into their buttons, but they do have um, some other not rounded edges too. Kajabi. Thank you for the advertisement Kajabi, but they also have a couple of different blues and for this one. So remember how Chewy had their blue banner up at the tippy top. This one has the white banner. So I would do the exact opposite from what we did for this one. We would, you know, basically flip it here, be a white banner. And then the background would be blue to match Kajabi. And that way, when they see their dashboard, it feels very branded to them. It feels very personal to them. It makes them more excited to see their data because it doesn't look just like everybody else's. Um, and then going on to Camtasia. Now, optimization tip for Tam Camtasia. There is so freaking much going on on this page. I'm not even sure what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but that's besides the point. So for colors, again, we go through and see all the different types of colors that we can use. They have a ton going on, a lot of different color options. And so, and they do have all kind of different brands. And this is the cool thing that you can, I said brands, but more like they have different products. So they have this one and they have this one. Um, for our clients that have different products, we color code them inside the dashboard. So, you know, product A in this case is always this purpley color and product B or maybe C is always this green color. And so it makes it, you know, visually finding different things on the dashboard so much easier um, and a little bit more fun for them. And they love it. They and they notice it. They absolutely notice it. And it's really fun for them. Um, and then here's another one. This one has been hitting me up hard with ads. So if you're part of this, kudos to you. Um, but again, so we have, you know, uh, a different uh, uh, format 
or a font, I should say, um, with the green and then the blue. And then we could also go to the home page and see if there's any other colors besides the green, blue. We have orange, orange for buttons. So if I see this orange for button, guess what? My, um, my, t my date fit widget would be orange because it's just like they're used to clicking on that. They're used to kind of training their people that orange is the thing you click on. So guess what? The thing that they're, they're going to click on, like the date widgets, um, things for source medium is going to be those colors. And then now they switch it up on us. That's fun. Um, HubSpot Academy. Again, they have um, a wide range of colors to be able to choose from, but obviously the most uh, uh, visible one is going to be their orange color. Um, and sometimes if you're going to do something like conditional formatting when I hop over to another dashboard, um, this workshop is not going to talk about conditional formatting because we have other trainings for that. We have an entire course, but if you're doing anything with conditional form formatting with like red, green, yellow type things where if like, hey, they're doing, you know, good, it's, you know, or, they're, you know, we're kind of in that yellow range where we need to adjust or red, it's like it's not working the way it's supposed to. If you're doing anything like that and your client uses a lot of orange, red, yellow, then that's where maybe your um, conditional formatting might change to more of the pastels or something a little bit different. Um, so that way you can still do conditional formatting, but conditional formatting is part of your color where you can definitely easily see what's working, what's not. And this is actually one of the templates we have back there in the measure marketing Academy for free. If you wanted to be able to play around with this tool. Um, and this one's very branded as well. They do, we did this exact same way that we've been teaching. We went to our site, um, and then we're able to kind of go through and get all of our different colors and put them into their template. Let's see if this is gonna let me do this. We're gonna see our template and layout. We're gonna to go to customize. And here we have all of our different colors inside of here. Our background is actually gray. Um, and so we ha and then we just have other different options up there with our um, bots and everything like that. So that is how we are using color in our dashboards to be able to really tell the story, make it easier to see what's going on, obviously with the conditional formatting, but also give it that branded look. So you're going to be able to stand out um, and above the competition and be able to really excel your business by being able to create a system uh, that would work for multiple types of clients and then be able to just really quickly adjust the design of it, the colors, the, the rounded edges, possibly the fonts to be able to make that very unique for that particular client. So there you have it. What was your one thing? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you back next time for the next workshop. And if you really enjoy the way we teach and the kind of the strategy behind the way we teach and you want to know more, we have this thing called the measurement marketing framework. And there's a free course back there in the academy for you to be able to watch to kind of understand this a little bit more to really grow those measurement muscles. And if you want those tools that we just talked about, especially that dashboard template, you can get that all all for free back there in the academy with a toolbox membership. So if you want to know more about that, just head over to measure.tip slash get academy and you can find out more. Or if you want to go through those courses where and learn more about Looker Studio and all the other things that we talked about and go through all the extra design tips, obviously you're going to see more about the academy in that same link measure.tip slash get academy. Thanks so much for joining us and we will see you next time.